Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. For any of my existing subscribers, you might be thinking, what's going on? Why are we doing a Mumbo Jumbo skin? Well, I'll tell you why in a second. Let's just let everyone else know that are not subscribed to the channel what's going on. So, um, on the channel, I've got um, a few different projects going on. This is my mini collection of mobs where I try and build all the mobs as small as I can with the most amount of detail. So that's sort of one series going on. We've also got the, um, the generic sort of um, series of where I'm building the main mobs, let's say, of Minecraft. And mixed in with that, we've got some mobs from Dungeons and uh, Minecraft Earth, for instance. Um, but also, aside from that, I want you to do something slightly different and I want you to focus on skins. Now, um, I've started with Mumbo Jumbo. Obviously, most of you are probably already aware of him. Others are in. Please go watch um, Hermitcraft because it's, it's amazing. And also, um, this, this guy here, Mumbo, he is a redstone master. Um, you could he could teach you to build well he builds so many stupid creations it's ridiculous I don't it, it frazzles my brain I can't even talk about it it's that that mental but anyway um, what I want to do is obviously just do some skins and it would be I thought it'd be nice there's quite a lot of um, Minecraft youtubers out there um, so if there's a favorite skin that you'd like to see obviously let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can get that done for you um, but anyway, before we get onto the blocks and colours, anyone that's um, new to the channel, please subscribe. And anyone that isn't new to the channel and watch my content all the time, please subscribe because I know there's a lot of you out there that haven't already. Whew, God, I need to get that out. Anyway, let's get onto the blocks and colours. So the blocks and colours you'll need for this build are, and it is a fairly a big list, so do bear with me. So black concrete, 43. Stripped birchwood, 44. We've got the mushroom block, 18. Smooth sandstone 282, red terracotta 73, red concrete 73, 115 red wool, 141 blue concrete, 94 light blue concrete, 76 light blue wool, 3 yellow concrete and just the 1 orange concrete and that's the blocks you'll need for this build. It might be worth just before we start building get your inventory sorted out because we're going to be switching blocks quite a lot here so um, if you try and get it in a similar sort of water as what I have it will just make your building experience a little bit easier but anyway <laughs> starting off with the red terracotta whoo sorry I just ran up the stairs so I'm out of breath right red terracotta do two red concrete go one two three four and then go back to your red terracotta go one two up on the left hand side we're going to go with another red terracotta this time go with red, con red wool, go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another red terracotta on the end. On the left hand side, again, we're gonna go red wool, one, two. This time go four red terracotta, and then two more red wool on the end. Okay, on the left hand side again, top left, we're gonna go two red terracotta. This time we're gonna go over red concrete, go one, two, three, four, and then go back to red terracotta, do another two on the end like so. And then this time, on the top left, we're going to slightly change things up. So we're going to go red concrete, back to your red con uh, blue concrete, go one, two, two red concrete, and then another two blue concrete, and then another red concrete on the end. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you what we've done so far, just in case I went a little bit too fast. Okay, moving on to the next section now. Top left, we're going to go with the blue concrete again. This time we're going to go with light blue, go back to blue. Then in the center, two black concrete. Go back to blue again, back to light blue, and then a blue concrete. So you can see what I mean by switching blocks quite frequently, all right? So it's gonna be a little bit like that, unfortunately. Top left again, on top of this blue this time, we're gonna go with a light blue. Then we're gonna go with a light blue wall, back to light blue concrete. Two blue concrete in the center. Then we're gonna go back to light blue, light blue wall, and then a light blue on the end, like so. There we go. I'll try and pan out slowly so you can see what we've done just in case. I feel a little bit conscious that I'm going a bit too quick for you. So light blue wool, we're going to go one, two on the left hand side again, remember. Light blue concrete this time, we're going to go one, two, three, four, followed by another two light blue on the end. Okay, on top of that on the left hand side, go back to your light blue concrete. We're going to go one, two, this time in the center, blue concrete, one, two, three, four. Go back to your light blue concrete and another two on the end like so. Okay, on the top left again, we're going to go with our blue concrete. And this time we're switching back to our reds again. So we're going to go red terracotta this time. Do four and then back to another two blue concrete. 
like so looking good we're making good progress so far so well done just keep up back to your red terracotta top left again we're going to pop one on there go back to your red wall go one two red terracotta one two and then go back to red wall red one two and then a red terracotta just to finish that guy off on the end there looking nice right and the last row for this section is going to be red concrete followed by another two red terracotta two red concrete and then two more red terracotta and then pop on a red concrete on the end and that's our first section done congratulations you're doing good i know it's a lot of switching blocks but we're going to get there slowly but surely so now on to the sort of upper section of the body what we're going to do is on the left hand side here we're going to pop in a red wall Next to that, we're going to go with our yellow concrete and then back to your red wall, back to your yellow concrete again, orange concrete this time, and then go back to your red wall and then go back to your yellow and then a, another red wall on the end. And that's sort of like the belt sort of section, the top of his red pants, as you can see there. But while we're here as well, what I want you to do is get your smooth um, sandstone out, come from the side here and go one, two, three, four, because that's part of his hands. And, and also do that by two higher, right? So you want to do eight like so. And do the same on the opposite side as well. So you've got to come out from the side, one, two, three, four, and then go up again, one, two, three, four. So it should be eight blocks on either side looking like that. Now back above the sort of belt section that we've already started, what we're gonna do is our black concrete. We're gonna go one, two, followed by a blue concrete, two light blue wall this time. And then go back to your blue concrete, go one, two, and then finish off with one black concrete. And that all should be in line with the hands now. On the next row up on the left hand side, we're going to do, go above this black concrete. So we're going to go one, two, and then switch to your light blue. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to go blue, light, sorry, light blue, and then go back to your blue concrete, one, two. Okay. On the left hand side again, above that, we're going to go with our light blue concrete. And then we're going to go back of our light blue wall, go one, two, three, four, five, and then go back to your light blue, go one, two on the end, like so. Top left again, what we're going to go, switch back to our blue concrete, light blue concrete. This is going to get mixed up because we've been <laughs> switching lot blocks here, so I do apologize. Light blue wall, and then this time go back to our red concrete, oh, sorry, a red wall, red concrete, and then go back to our light blue, one, two, and then back with a blue concrete on the end. So I'll try and go as slow as I can. On the next row up, we're gonna go with the black concrete this time. So we're gonna go black concrete, blue concrete, a red concrete. Next to that this time, we're actually gonna go with our stripped birch wood. Now I've did my birch wood aiming down because obviously you can have it, sort of the pattern goes either way, but I've did mine aiming down. All right, but I'll leave that entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter too much. I've just got a little bit of OCD, I think. Back to your red wall, we're gonna go one, two, then a blue concrete on the end and followed by a black concrete like so. Above that on the left hand side again, we're gonna go with our blue concrete this time. Switch to our red concrete, go one. Switch to our red wool, one. Then our stripped birch again, we're gonna do two. So we're gonna go one, two. Back to your wool, we're gonna go one there. Red concrete and then finish it off with a blue concrete on the end. Look at that, looking good. On the top left again, we're gonna go with our red concrete this time, followed by our birch wood. We're gonna go one. Then we're gonna go switch back to our red wood. Our red wood, we don't have red wood. What am I about? Red wool, one, two, three. Back to our birch again. And then we're gonna go red wool and a red concrete. I can't spit my words out, sorry. It's really winding me up now. Right, top left again, red wool. We're gonna go one. So go back with our birch again. We're going to do one, then a red wool, then a birch, then a red wool, then a birch. Then this time we're actually going to pop in a red terracotta there and then finish off by a red concrete. There we go, looking good. Here we go. We're going to be switching back to our blues now slowly. So light blue is going to pop on the top left there. Go back to your red concrete. We're actually going to go all the way to the end, apart from the last one, which is going to be light blue concrete. Then again, top left, we're gonna go back with our black concrete, two blue concrete, a light blue, a, sorry, light blue wall, light blue concrete, two blue concrete, and a black concrete, 
like so. And then the final, final layer is going to be a red terracotta, two red wool, two red terracotta, two red wool, and a red terracotta. There we go. There we go, the last one. And I'm just going to show you slowly what we've done so far, just in case you needed to copy that now. And I might have went a bit too quick. You can actually see what blocks we've placed. There we go. So moving on to the arms, obviously, because we've done the sort of legs and the torso area. So we're going to move on to the arm section now. So from the left-hand side arm, let's get on to it. So starting off with your blue concrete, what we're going to do is start from the left-hand side. Go one, two, three, four. And then from the left again, one, two, three, but this time pop in a black concrete on the end. Switch to your light blue concrete this time and go one, two, three. Next to that, you can actually go with a blue concrete, like so. Top left hand side again, we're gonna go light blue wall, gonna go one, two, followed by a light blue concrete, and then followed by a blue concrete as well. On the left hand side, top left again, we're gonna go with one light blue wall one light blue concrete, a blue concrete, one, two, like so. Top left again, switch to your light blue concrete. We're gonna go one there, a light blue concrete, sorry, a blue concrete, back to your black, do two like so. Top left again, light blue wool, light blue concrete. This time we're gonna go back to our blue concrete, one, two. Next row up again on the left hand side, light blue wool, one, two light blue concrete and a blue concrete to finish it off. Top left again, remember two light blue, two blue concrete like so. And then the final and last row is gonna be blue concrete, one, two, three, finish it off with a black just to finish it off there. And I'll just give you a little, you know, little pan out there so you can actually see what blocks you've placed. If I did go a little bit too fast, you can pause it and have a look what blocks you've placed. And essentially, we're going to do the exact same arm onto this side of the build, but obviously opposite, all right? So starting from the right-hand side this time. So starting off with our blue concrete, again, we're going to do a row all the way across the bottom there. On the left-hand side, we're going to go black concrete and then finish it off with three blue concrete. On top of that, we're going to go blue concrete, finish it off with light blue concrete all the way to the end. That's going to be three. Above that, again, we're going to go blue concrete, a light blue concrete this time and two light blue wool. Above that on the left hand side, two blue concrete, a light blue wool and a light blue, sorry, a light blue concrete and a light blue wool. On the next row up again, above the blue concrete, we're gonna go two black concrete, a blue concrete and then a light blue wool. Top left again, two blue concrete, a light blue concrete and then a light blue wool. Next row up on the left hand side, a blue concrete, a light blue concrete, and then finish it off with two light blue wool. Next on the left hand side again, one, two blue concrete, two light blue concrete this time. And our final and last row is going to be a black concrete on the left hand side there, and then finish it off with blue concrete to the end, like so. And there we go. Whew, that was a bit, <laughs> bit tricky, wasn't it? So we've got our feet, our little red pants, our little... Uh, potato symbol and his two arms and that's the front of the body all complete so now it's spinning on down to the left hand side of the build we're going to start building up the the side of the body so what we do is get your red terracotta yeah you're sorry your red terracotta and go one one two three four so you're adding an extra three blocks on so the the body's going to be four blocks wide all right on the left hand side we're going to pop another red terracotta followed by two red wool on top of that, you can do a row of red wool that should meet this red wool on the other side. And then another red terracotta and two more red wool in the center. So you should have something looking like that so far. Along the top of this, you can actually do a row of red concrete to meet the other red concrete on the other side. On top of that, we're gonna do a row of light blue concrete. On top of that, a row of light blue wool. Okay, this, this side section is quite simple actually, which is kind of nice. This time, get your blue concrete, and we're going to go up by one, two, three, come across by one, pop in a light blue there, and then in the center here, you can just do four light blue wool like that, and that's the sort of middle section complete. And then just to finish it off, we're actually going to get red terracotta and do three across, 
and then on top of that do three red concrete as well so that is the whole side of the leg and feet done already look at that nice and simple while we're here as well we might as well get our um, smooth sandstone and actually bring these arms across by one two three so they are four wide okay and you actually bring the base along as well one two three four one two three four one two three four so now that's all in line nicely all done on that side so what we're going to do now for anyone new around here what me and my fellow subscribers like to do is we, we like to have a little race all right i know it sounds a bit weird but we're gonna have a little race we're going to copy the exact same thing we've done just on this side um, and we're going to do that on the opposite side so if you spin around to the opposite side of the build we're gonna, all you need to do is look across and you can see what blocks we've already placed. So you can see our red terracottas there. And all you need to do is place the blocks exactly how you see them on the opposite side, right? And we're going to be starting from here, remember. So if you want a little race, um, let's do it. If you um, don't and you want to take your time, take your time and we'll catch up when we've all finished the side of the body, all right? But for anyone else, get ready in three, two, one, go. I have not been looking forward to this because... <laughs> this is tricky. I don't like switching blocks as you know um, it, it just it, yeah, it's too much going on It's really uh, confusing for me and for anyone new around here. What I just want to say is um, Obviously, I'm trying to record my voice at the same time as actually trying to Win on this build battle so um, <laughs> I might be stuttering and making a lot of mistakes and I never redo sections that I've done I always just do this as you see me now. So this is me live recording live building not cheating and I don't redo the same section. There we go, done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That went too bad actually. I didn't do too bad. How did you get on? Did you beat me? Did you not? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that, that was kind of I, I was kind of cool and collective on that side. That was pretty good. I'm well chuffed myself. <laughs> Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the next section. So, spin on around now to the left-hand side of the build. We're actually going to build the side of the arm up. So, remember, we've already built um, the foundations or the start of the hand. So, what I want you to do is we're going to build on top of that this time. So, using your smooth sandstone, you're going to bring that up by a further two. So, it should be two blocks high in total all the way around. Go to your blue concrete and, again, do a row of blue concrete on top of that. On the left-hand side, we're going to go blue concrete, two light blue concrete. On top of that, light blue concrete, and then we're going to go light blue wool, one, two. The row above that is all going to be blue wool as well, all the way to the end. Above that, a light blue wool, two light blue concrete. On top of that, on the left, light blue concrete. This time we're actually going to do two blue concrete. On the left-hand side again, light blue wool, two light blue concrete. On top of that, on the left-hand side, we're going to go blue, uh, sorry, a row of blue wool all the way across. Top left again, light blue concrete, two more light blue wool. And then finally there, we've got a, a blue concrete and then two more light blue concrete as well. So I will just show you quickly, if you if I was going a bit too fast here, you can see, there we go. You might be able to copy that pattern down, pause the video if you need to. Have a little look what we've done. So apologies if it was going a little bit too quick for you. But that's the side of the arm complete. And again, guess what we're going to do? We're going to do exactly the same as what we've done earlier. We're going to copy the exact same thing on the opposite side as well. So again, if you fancy another little race, you may, you might you might have uh, beat me already on this one. But if you haven't, here's your second chance to try and beat me in this section as well, right? So without further ado, in three, two, one go so remember you need smooth sandstone across the base of there so it's too high and then let's go with it all right let's see if i can beat you two times in a row i think i was quite confident on that last one that i actually beat you so i don't know it'd be let me know if you actually beat me twice because that would be uh that would be amazing if you do because i mean I, I mean i'm not the fastest of builders i must admit but um i find it really nerve-wracking doing these actually it really does uh does Kooky, there we go, done. Yeah, I find these nerve wrecking actually trying to do it really quick. Um, but yeah, so there we go. We've got two sides of the arms, both complete, both exactly the same, same with the legs. Anyway, enough of that. Let's spin on round and maybe we should focus on the back side of the build now. So to make things easier, what I want you to do is we start from the bottom of the build here. If you get your red concrete out, and you can do this from either side, doesn't matter. You should be able to look on the left-hand side here. That is our only red concrete on these sections. So if you get your red concrete and you can actually just build across all the way to the other side, 
like so. And this bit now is all downhill. All you need to do is copy what we can see in front of you onto this side, right? So let's go for it. Red terracotta, and then we've got red concrete, one, two, three, four, and then red terracotta again. And like I said, let's just uh, fill this all in. So just look across and copy exactly what you can see on the opposite side, right? Really simple. It's, I, I tell you what, builds are so much more pleasant when they're like this because it just so much less work to worry about. There we go, all done. So that's the bottom section of the feet complete. On the next section up is slightly different. This is the, the sort of top of the sort of leg sort of area. So switch to your light blue ball on the left hand side. We're gonna go one, two, two light blue concrete. Finish it off with two more light blue ball. On the next row up on the left hand side, two light blue concrete. This time in the center, two blue concrete. And then two more light blue concrete on the end. And then just finish it off with a blue concrete, do a row all the way across, all right? And you should, and that's, that's as far as we're going, because in a minute we're gonna put his cape on, so that will cover all this sort of middle section of the build. So while we're here, we might as well get on and do the cape. And what we're gonna do is using our red terracotta, you're gonna come to where this blue is on the left-hand side, and you're gonna come up by one block and place a red terracotta there. So the cape's gonna cover across this big section here, right? So red terracotta, and then we're gonna go with our red wool, red terracotta again, red wool, we're gonna do two, one, two, red terracotta, a red wool, and then a red terracotta on the end, okay? So that's as long as it's gonna go. So I'm gonna do this in sort of like weird little sections, all right? So do apologize, because it just makes it a little bit easier than switching blocks all the time. So from this red terracotta here, we're gonna actually go up by one. On top of that, use red concrete, go one, two, three, like that. On the top of this red terracotta, you can place a red concrete. And then actually go diagonal from that, oh, with two red concrete as well like so. On top of this red terracotta, you want to do two red concrete. And then from this red terracotta, you can do two more red terracotta. On top of that, do two red concrete. And you should have something looking like that so far. Now the best thing to do is now just fill all these gaps in with red wool. That's the reason why I did that. Just, it just speed things up a little bit rather than keep switching between blocks. So keep filling the red wool up until you meet the top of these two red blocks either end of the build. There we go, like that. Now from the right hand side, what we're gonna do is get your red terracotta out. This red concrete, we're gonna go one, two, and on this third block, red terracotta. On top of that, you can do two red concrete. Okay, and then switch to your red wall this time. And what I want you to do is just fit in two there, and then red wall all the way across to the other side. The row up above that, again, can do red wall all the way to the other side and then two on the end as well. Come up, two red wool there, and it should be in line with this red concrete we placed earlier. Then do another two red wool, and then go back to your red concrete, go one, two. Switch to your left red wool, one, two can go there as well next to that, and come up by a third in fact, sorry. And then on the left hand side here, red terracotta, and then go red concrete, one, two, with a red wool on top. So we're sort of getting that shape of the symbol now, just in the back here. Leave two block gap from the bottom here, and then go with your red wall, go one, two, three. And then on this right hand side, red terracotta with two more red concrete. There we go, so you should have a pattern looking like that. And you can pause the video here if you need to, just so you can see what blocks you've placed and where we've placed them, in case I was going a little bit too quick for you. So now the fun part, switching to your stripped birch wood, what I want you to do is in the two gap here, go one, two, okay? And then you can literally place one on every part of this section until you get to the end and come up by one, two. Do the same on the opposite side, right? So you can do one in this diagonal, one in that diagonal, and then come up by two on the end. So you should have a pattern looking like that now. On the center here, with your strips, go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was from the left hand side of those two middle blocks. And while we got our strip on our hand, you can actually come across and bring it by across by two to the, to the left hand side. And then from the right hand side, you can bring it back by three, one, two, three. So it should be diagonal to these two side blocks that we've already placed. Then from this sort of central block that we've already placed, go to the top, come across by one, and then place a strip there. 
and also diagonal to that a strip there. So that gives this sort of like P for the potato. And everything else in the middle now can be um, strip, uh, smooth, <laughs> smooth sandstone. I, I was going to say strip to birch wood, but we've already used that, ain't we? So smooth sandstone in all these central parts, like so. And we are almost there, all right? So using your red wool from the left-hand side, we're going to come up by two, one, two. Switch to your red terracotta. To the right of that, we're going to go one, two, three. Go back to your red wool. And we're going to do one, two, three, four across there. Pop one in, one in that side and then one in that side. And then you should have two block gap in the center where you're going to place two more red terracotta. And while the red terracotta is still in the hand, we're actually going to go to the right. Go one, two, pop one in there as well. And then those two last blocks are going to be red wool. And there we go. We've done the famous P potato cape all right if you need to pause the video go for it i'll just hopefully hang around there a little bit so if you need to pause it pause it and you can copy that pattern down and we'll move on to the next section okay so now we've done that it's all downhill from here now all we need to do is literally um we've got a mega 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 sort of build off here right between me and you if you want to race along you can if you won't don't want to take your time and we'll catch up in a minute but this is going to be a mega one we've never done a double double whammy of, of build offs all right so what we need to do is you might have already guessed it already so the sections that you can see in front of you we're going to copy on this side right so remember you need to bring up this smooth sandstone across and then look across and you can see blue concrete like so, and again, just copy it all the way across, only the blocks in front of you that are part of the arm, all right? So those there, and also these on this side as well, right? So, ready or not, let me just delete these, and then at least then we've got a fair starting off together, right? So in three, two, one, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this because I've never done, uh, we've never done such a big section um, of us like speed building here, have we? So um, this is going to be interesting to see who who pulls it off. Um, I mean, I don't know. Let me know actually, because this is our third one of the day. So it'd be interesting to see how many of these you win against me, because I think it's going to be quite tight. It really is. I think I. Oh no! There we go. That's I've done one arm. Oh no, we no we ah. Okay, now I've done one arm. I've done one, I'm, I'm on to the next one. I wonder if you're on to the next one as well. It's really interesting. It's annoying because I can't see where, how far ahead you are. I'm, I'm quite glad in some respects because it would make, make this even worse for me. The pressure is already on as it is and watching someone else build at the same time as you actually makes it a little bit harder. So, uh, <laughs> right, super fast build mode initiated. Yes, that's a reference from Scar um, from Hermitcraft. <laughs> right, there we go. No, I've made a mistake. No, 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 I've made a mistake again. Oh, no, I was doing so good. Boom, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Did you complete it at the same time as me? Did you beat me? Did you not? Did you beat me in all three? That's, that's quite an interesting thing to actually um, to know, actually. So let me know how you did in the comments if you beat me on all three, because um, that was quite a build off, that section, I must admit. But now we've done the full body, we, all we've got to do is whack on this guy's head and we're all done. So the head is eight by eight blocks. So using your stripped birch wood, from the top of the build on the left hand side of this red terracotta and we're going to come out by two so overhang the front of the body by two blocks all right you can actually get rid of these because we don't need those we just need this birch for the time being now using your smooth sandstone come across by six one two three four five six and then pop in another stripped birch on the end and that now should be eight blocks wide and now let's start building up the face all right so from the left hand side use a smooth um sandstone Black concrete, gonna go two. Let's get for the infamous mumbo jumbo mustache on here. So we're gonna go two across, come up by one, and then come across by four. One, two, three, four. Come down again, and then across by one. And there we go. The infamous mumbo jumbo mustache, or it could be the Pringles mustache, it's up to you. Smooth sandstone can go in the middle there, and then pop one on the end just to finish that off nicely. On the left hand side of the build, again, we're gonna use a stripped birch wood. Switch to your smooth sandstone, pop one in there, come to the other side and these two can be smooth sandstone as well. On the left hand side of the build, you can use smooth sandstone all the way across to the end, but this last block is going to be a stripped birch wood again. 
Now what we want you to do is on the left hand side, you can use your smooth sandstone and come up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And you can actually bring that all the way across to the other side and bring that one up by five as well. And it should meet up nicely to form the shape of the rest of the head. Then what we want you to do on the left hand side of this section we've just built out is use your mushroom block, go one, two, and then one to the right. In the center there, it's gonna be a black concrete. And then do the same on the opposite side as well. So using your mushroom block, one, two, three, and then a black concrete in there to form the eyes. And then all the center section here can be smooth sandstone. And then on the left hand side here, just above the left eye, you can actually place another stripped birch wood. And everything else now is gonna be all smooth sandstone. So you can fill that in nicely. There we go. And that's the front of our head complete. Look at that. And I don't know what on earth I was thinking, but that head <laughs> looks a little bit too long. So uh, just, yeah, get rid of that one. I, I made a bit of an error. So it should be eight by eight, okay? Just to clarify that. Spin on around to the left-hand side of the build. Let's build the side of the head up this time. And we're gonna um, remember bringing that across by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should be overhanging the back of the cape by one block, all right? So now we've done that, what I want you to do is actually, we're gonna change out this block here. So we're gonna use our mushroom block. So just here where the black um, section is, we can pop in a mushroom block just there. Okay, the next row up is all gonna be smooth sandstone all the way across. Okay, on the right hand side, so just above this mushroom block, this block here, gonna use a smooth birch. And then diagonal to that, you can actually place another mushroom block as well. And everything else up to that point can be smooth sandstone. So you can fill in these gaps here, fill in these gaps along this side as well. There we go. And then the row above that can also be smooth sandstone all the way across. Now from the left hand side of the build, what we do is come in by one block from here and you can place a mushroom block. And then diagonal to that is gonna be another stripped birch wood. And while we've got the strip birch wood in our hand, just imagine all the way across here, you can place one there so that they're both in line with each other. And now all you need to do, really simple, is smooth sandstone is gonna fill up all these gaps in between. Let's do that quickly, like so. Boom, that's the side of the head complete. And yes, if you've probably not really guessed it, we're gonna do the exact same on the opposite side. <laughs> right, so spin on round to the other side and repeat the process, all right? Let's just do that now. Um, mushroom block in there, and then smooth sandstone overhanging the back, smooth sandstone all the way across. We're gonna do a stripped birch just there with a mushroom block like so. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And yeah, I didn't wanna do too much detail with the head here because um, you know I just figured the nice subtleness with the like sort of potato spots on it actually had a nice effect to it. So that's why I sort of kept it kind of like sort of plain and simple. Um, but I think it has a nice little effect to it. And we just gotta do another smooth here and just finish it off with some smooth sandstone. And there we go, that's two sides of the head complete. Now we just need to focus on the back and the top and we're all done. So the back of the head, let's get on round there. This bit's gonna be fairly simple. It's gonna be a lot of smooth sandstone as you can imagine. So starting from the bottom, you can actually use smooth sandstone and we're gonna bring that all the way across to the opposite side. On the left hand side here, you can do a stripped birch wood, just pop one in just there. And the next row can be all smooth sandstone. Above that, you can do smooth sandstone all the way across as well. The next row up, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone, and then switch to your mushroom block. And then diagonal to that, you can actually do a stripped birch wood as well. And then again, you've probably would guess it, smooth sandstone across there and smooth sandstone across the top of the next one as well. Smooth sandstone is gonna go all the way across the top of that one. And we're gonna do just a mushroom block just on the left hand side there. So you're gonna come in by one, two blocks and pop in the mushroom block. And the rest now is gonna be smooth sandstone all the way to the top of the build. And I just wanna say as well, if you don't like the placement of some of these blocks, just move them or place extras in if you think it needs some more. So, you know, we can maybe just pop one in, I don't know, let's say there, mushroom block. I mean, it all adds to the effect of the old, um, you know, potato look, because that's what potatoes are like. They've got spots all over them, aren't they? Now spin our around to the front of the build, and we're just gonna pop on this guy's head, and we're all done. There we go, so spin our around, 
And again, a lot of smooth sandstone going on here. But what we're going to do is start with our mushroom block, go to the back of the build. And what I did is actually place one adjacent to that, which is just there. And then place two blocks, any blocks for the time being, and then I put another mushroom block there. Diagonal to this one towards us, I did a smooth, a stripped birch. And then on the left hand side here, I actually did another mushroom block just there. And then everything else now can be filled in with smooth sandstone. La 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 la. And again, like I said, just don't be afraid to experiment yourselves and um, add a few different blocks in there. If you want to add a few more, go for it. If you don't, add less. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's entirely up to you. But there we go. Anyway, there is my interpretation of a mumbo jumbo potato man. <laughs> Super potato. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and remember, like I said, if there's any um, mobs or any um, skins out there that you want to see me build, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get them done to you. I've been Zooey Mama and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!